If you're having trouble with your Corel Painter workspace, it can be helpful to hold shift and double click on the Corel Painter icon. This will bring you into a mode where you can restore Corel Painter to its factory default settings. There is a really helpful option that will allow you to keep some of your customizations, such as all of the brushes in your workspace, all of the other libraries, such as papers, patterns, and so on, and custom palettes. However, all other customizations, such as palette arrangements, preferences, and presets will be lost. And if you've spent a lot of time arranging your palettes like I have, it can be really tedious to have to set all this back up again. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a hack that you can use to restore your layouts automatically. That's coming up next. So here's an example of my custom layout. You can see I have palettes grouped together and arranged in a lot of specific ways. But if there's an issue with my workspace and it gets corrupted or I upgrade to a new version of Corel Painter, then I'm going to lose all of that positioning of the palettes and customization. That is, unless we use this trick. So first of all, you're gonna need a workspace that you've set up and you're gonna to need to go to the window menu, layout, and then save a layout. When you save that layout, that's gonna save the position and the customization of all of your palettes. And you can restore that at any time. However, if you were to reset your workspace, then you would lose these layouts. They would disappear and you wouldn't be able to go to one of these options here to restore your layout position and customization. So there isn't a way to save your layouts with the workspace, but you can take the layouts out of an old workspace and put them into a reset one. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So it's very important that you make sure to save your layout ahead of time, otherwise this isn't gonna work. So I've gone ahead and exported that workspace. I'm just going to select it and then hit Control C and Control V to copy and paste it. That makes a copy of that. And I'll just give this one a lowercase b, that way we know that it's the copy. Now I we'll wanna go ahead and hold Shift and launch Corel Painter. And let's go ahead and keep some customizations, but we'll restore this workspace back to its factory defaults. I'm gonna reset the current workspace. That's the one that I duplicated here. And once we do that, that workspace will be reset. You can see I get all of my palettes here loaded nicely in the top left corner. It's not very helpful. I'd have to resize them all, group them all back together, and then there's some palettes that aren't even gonna be shown on the screen that I'll have to find again. And as you can see, if we go to the window menu and we look under layout, those layouts are gone. So the first option is just to go ahead and rearrange this and put it back to how it was. Or what we can do is we can go ahead and just export this workspace. We'll go to workspace, export workspace, I'm gonna go ahead and just call this one dash reset. That way we know it's the reset version. Now we wanna go back to the folder that has the workspaces in it. And we wanna to go to view and under show hide, we will show the file name extension. Now you can see that it says .pws for each of these. Now a PWS file is also a zip file. In order to turn it into a zip file, all we need to do is click on the file extension and change it from PWS to zip. Once we click off of it, it now becomes a zip file. Now we want to get that original duplicate that we made earlier, and we want to turn that into a zip as well. We want to go ahead and open that zip file for our original, and we want to locate the framework folder. Now within that framework folder, you can see that these are the layouts that we saved earlier. So now all we need to do is go to our reset workspace, open that zip file, put it over here on the other side, we'll open framework there, and you can see that when we reset that one, those layouts disappeared. So all we need to do is select all three of these files and just drag them over to our working folder here. That'll make a copy of them. Then we drag those copies into our reset workspace framework folder. And it's okay if we just replace this layout XML file. Now you can see they appear in the new reset workspace. Now we can just close the two zip files here. And we'll wanna change the one that we reset back to PWS. Now if we go back to Corel Painter and we go to Window, Workspace, Import Workspace. We'll go to that Reset Workspace and we will import it. And you can see it already restored our default layout, but we can also go to Window, Layout, and we can choose from those layouts that we saved earlier, Large Monitor and Small Monitor are the ones that I created. So basically all I needed to do was copy the files from one zip file to another, and that allows me to restore my palette locations and customization. I wish I would have known about this a long time ago because I've probably rebuilt my workspace a thousand times by now. But hopefully now that you know this tip, it'll save you a little bit of time. Now, in addition to using that zip file trick to reset your workspace, you could also use it to restore your Curl Painter preferences, which are in a Painter settings file. And there's lots of other files that you can pull out of your workspace like brushes and papers. I have a separate video you can watch on that. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. 
And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.